Hey everybody, it's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and I decided to do a, uh, a quick toy update. I'm gonna catch this right by. <laughs> that was weird. And uh, so I figured I'd do the toy update quick <clears throat> in collectibles, and then probably tomorrow I'll be getting the update of my movies because I gotta get them all in proper order. They're not in alphabetical order, which is a pain. But I'll get that done. Once I get that done, we can actually do this update. <clears throat> so without further ado, over here we have this little cool Maba figure. This is put up by the Barbarian Rage. He did this character. He came with this cool tube called Retracting Regan. Yes. And there's a cool artwork. He's got this cool window to put it in. Looks like a test tube. What it is is you can put slime on the bottom and you can squeeze her and slime comes out of her mouth and stuff. I just like it gets a cool little mob uh, figure, so I'm keeping it there. And over here, <clears throat> we got uh, this style put up by the Plastic Geek and Terror for Tom there. Uh, did the design of the Time Eater from the Langoliers. Now this was one of the test ones. Um, I missed out on the actual ones, but the test runs were being sold. So I grabbed one, that's why it's all funky colors. I think there's an air bubble in there, but you know what? It still looks pretty freaking cool, I like it. So yeah, the time meter from uh, Langoliers. All right, so up here, uh, we have is uh, from the Wolfman 138, I wanna think. Oh, don't quote me on that. But he did the House Cat from the crazy Asian horror film House. Yeah, if you've seen that movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <coughs> so yeah, he did that figure. Uh, here we have what's called the tape head. This is put out by It Went Bad on their Facebook, uh, on their Instagram. I got a cool little sticker here to show you. That's It Went Bad. And uh, tape head, it comes with a cassette tape, but the item itself fits in the cassette tape. And that is, of course, for Midsummer. You have the, the stone with the blood. I thought that was pretty cool and get that variant. I know he has a clear one on his store, but I had to get it back because got the grass and the blood. It's pretty fucking cool. Found this cool uh, King Kong keychain, old school. <laughs> All right, these I got from Amazon, ah, the Ghostbusters figures. Now these little minis were in blind bags, but on Amazon, sold it the whole collection so you get the the four chases uh the four regulars there's like a couple slimers and devil dogs but i wanted these because they reminded me so much from the cartoon uh the real ghostbusters where it took place after the movie um they're all coming in from fighting gozer they're all covered in the marshmallow from the stay puff they were supposed to get rid of their uniforms but they didn't they had this ectoplasm and it turned the uniforms alive so just that green reminded me of those ectoplasmic specters wearing their suits so i love that and of course they do glow in the dark so yeah all four of them right there so next shelf all right we'll go right to here from pikmin vinyls we have this cool uh blob figure now it comes in two different pieces uh, you can move like the regular guy, you can put him in on top, or I have a cool like where he's getting devoured by the blob, and someone else is getting devoured by the blob. <laughs> so, I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, from eBay, right here we have Big Ben. This is a bust from, I want to say a band box. I thought this was pretty neat, you can find these on eBay. Got the cool grenade, it says Big Ben on there. Cool design. So yeah, from House. Big Ben. Also from Pikmin Vinyls, he did this awesome uh, cult list from The Void. I love The Void. Uh, comes with two different arms, one with uh, a retractable dagger, and this one where he's just holding on to it. So I got the one he's holding on to it. Got his hand up. He's made multiple different variants, but I had to go for the plain the white one. And he also did one of my favorite uh, non-franchise killers, Harry Warden. That awesome figure to look out. That light looks like it's actually on, even without the, the glow. 
So badass. All right. Next up from uh, Deadly Delivery and the last uh, Zek Zekron. <laughs> they did. <coughs> excuse me. Here's a Deadly Delivery and the Skinwalker from Extro. So yeah, uh, this little bad boy. He's got this awesome white variant. Got the feet backwards when he's walking in the woods. So this is just so fucking cool. These sell out fast. Oh, drop the pickaxe. Uh, when you go on their Instagram and you find them, as soon as they go on sale, grab it because I bought it. And I waited an hour just to see where it was, and it was already sold out. <laughs> so they sell out fast. So I definitely recommend grabbing them. All right, next from a designer called Eddie in the City. He did this cool uh, Ma Ba style from Creepshow. I love it. It's got great design, the eye missing, and uh, the eye popping out, the whole zombie thing with a rat in the basket, ticket in hand. <laughs> and he also did this little guy, <clears throat> the monster with the cool little sculpt. I love the whole oh, I forgot, for the movie. It's driving me nuts. But, yeah. So next, in the back here, let me get him out. This is from the Suburban Garage. <clears throat> it's like a cool little dressed up zombie from either, uh, you want to say, uh, Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead. But, got the rib cage exposed. Um, I got the header card. I think he just calls it a zombie. And this is, of course, a uh, corpse of corpse horror. <laughs> And that's Suburban Garage there. So yeah, this cool little zombie look. Uh, the next characters are from a, another <coughs> uh, Luke. Oh God. I can see it on top of my head. It's going to drive me nuts. Unfortunately, he doesn't have header cards. So I don't... I always forget what... Until I see him on Facebook. Um... Uh, We'll say Luke Wilkins. Sorry. Again, I apologize. So, Luke, if you're seeing this, I again, I apologize for it. But he did this awesome Maba style uh, squirm in red. He had a black and green variant. I missed out on the black and purple one, but he had a black and green and this red one. And I thought this cool dark red really stuck out, showing the worms in the hand from squirm. <clears throat> and he also did this Maba style, for the killer from... Stage Fright from the 80s Stage Fright. It's fucking awesome. And the axe head can be rotated to go up or down, which is pretty badass. Next up over here, we have Dummy King, the killer's giant kaiju slug. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of neat. I found him at a comic book store. Now, up here, this is awesome. This piece is from Loot Crate, it is a drain stopper. But it's just a cool Jaws looking piece. I can get up here. Whoa, of course it's gonna fall. Now it is licensed by Universal. Because right here is the Jaws Universal stamp. Got Bruce sticking out right there. The jugs and everything keeping them afloat. This thing is fucking awesome. You can find these on eBay super cheap. Recommend buying it. Thanks for Tom for pointing it out. This thing is so fucking cool. Plop. All right. That stuff falls. That's how it goes. Things fall. You fix it. Okay. Next we have, I know I've shown this little guy before from Justin Ishmael. Now, I missed out on the big, <coughs> um, he did a big deadly spawn for, uh, I'll say Indiegogo. But, he put another, it did so well, he puts them in the store. So, of course, I got the mini spawn one. If you remember the movie Deadly Spawn, where the old ladies are talking and these things are climbing up all the walls, that's this little guy right there. And it also has this big mamma jamma. This awesome looking Deadly Spawn figure painted. The, all the rows of teeth, the different heads. It's fucking fantastic. I love that thing. Uh, next, from um, uh, 
uh, the Wolfman again, one th so it was Wolfman 138. He did this awesome piece from Cold Jack, the Night Stalker. Had to grab myself a Cold Jack. I love the character, Dan McGavin. Did an awesome job. Uh, love the TV show. Had to have a figure. I don't know if I showed this before. This is a uh, fan of the opera Harmonica. It's from a, <coughs> I want to say, it's not a Burger King Happy Meal. But it's from another Happy Meal fast food chain. They actually did a several Universal Monsters. Uh, the Harmonica was Phantom of the Opera. Back here, that creature from the Black Lagoon can uh, rise up. You can squirt water. And this cool Frankenstein. Unfortunately, it doesn't work, but you push a button in the back. He lights up and his head glows. That's fucking awesome. There's a couple more I want to grab. But yeah. And last for this piece... Um, I found this on eBay, and right here we have a giant uh, Sophie, or I don't know how to say it, the Triffid, you know, from Day of the Triffids. This awesome green, uh, glittery type style uh, figure, and I do have the header that came with it, because it came up bagged. Now, it's from, of course, Japan, and you can tell all the information there. And it says Triffid, the number for it. Can't read the rest, but this thing is fucking awesome. <clears throat> I was just going on eBay once, just typed in uh, Triffids, and this sucker popped right up. I said, okay, that's fate. I have to buy it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, I also got at Target, I got to figure out a place to put it, is the Candyman from NECA. Could resist. Don't own a Candyman figure. And again, sorry for the glare. Got the awesome rib cage edition with his other head. Uh, it's the cloth figures. I'm not a big fan of collecting the cloth ones. But since um, I don't own a Candyman or anything Candyman, I had to grab it. Especially since the new movie will be coming out soon. And last for this toy update, I got... Uh, finally, this thing took months to get here. And that is this cool killer combatant, the blob versus the stuff. This is put out by, uh, I'll sit on the back here. We'll put this out. Fate of Heart. Here you go. Fate of Heart Creations put this out. I actually got 30 out of 30. Uh, they're still available in the store online. Uh, they're all homemade. The blob looks pretty fucking awesome with the light on. You can see the rib cage in there, and the stuff, all half. Which is nice is these can come off and come right back on, which I thought was awesome. So if you want to keep it carded, or if you want to take them out, you can do so. But this finally took a sweet time, but I'm so happy it got here. I messaged them, and they said, you know, it's on back order, they're redoing everything. But once it came in, I'm ecstatic. So that's awesome. So yeah, that is my, uh, oh yeah, little mini guys from H&H &H Studios. We got Death and Edgar Allan Poe, <laughs> muscle, stop, muscle type style figures. So I got those for my mini ones. Nothing else from the mini shelf. Pretty much all the same characters were over here as before. So yeah, anyway. That is an update, and I will be working on the DVD Blu-ray haul soon for you. And I also will be doing my shelf-to-shelf -shelf soon. I know I keep saying that. I will be doing that as soon as possible. Work's been crazy busy. Got some stuff happening. I'll get it out for you guys. Don't worry. Have yourself a good one, guys. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. Like I said, where do you get those characters or anything like that i'll let you know all right guys thanks for watching and have yourself a good one and i'll talk to you later peace